I'm Victoria Valderrama at the Mathis Emergency Medical Service Station. Of the 10 full-time employees working here, four EMTs are going through paramedic school provided by the state. It provides books, tuition, and the first national registry exam fee. I covered all of the out-of-pocket expenses that I honestly didn't have set aside. Amanda Vickers is one of the EMT studying to be a paramedic through the Texas EMS Recruitment and Retention Funding Program. After nine months of coursework, Vickers and her classmates will be done by the end of November. With an EMT, it's basic life-saving support, um, you know, your CPR, basic medications. With your paramedic, you get more cardiology, more pharmacology, um, IV fluids. Um, airway management. These EMTs are already applying what they're learning to the real world when responding to a call. And now they have access to restricted medications. Whereas as a paramedic we'll be able to give morphine or uh, controlled fentanyl for pain. Plus they can provide more than just basic life-saving skills. We can also shock if their heart's too fast or we can help the heart beat by shocking as well if it's too slow which we can't do now, but come title we will be able to. By then, the people of Mathis and San Patricio County can be sure to have a high level of emergency medical services. We should have at least one paramedic on each shift rather than one paramedic on one shift and the rest be EMT basics. And there's still money available. If you're interested in becoming an EMT or paramedic, you can apply by contacting the Coastal Bend Regional Advisory Committee. We have that information on our website. Reporting in Mathis, I'm Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News.